Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine as of May 3 amount to 1,270 Russian troops, bringing the total number of Russian army losses since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine to 472,140. In addition, the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed 58 artillery systems and 42 vehicles, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and a number of their equipment have already been unpacked by the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The following was revealed, 22 tanks, 33 armored vehicles, 58 artillery systems, 2 air defense, 19 UAVs, 42 vehicles, 5 units of special equipment. At present, Ukrainians repel Russian assaults on Donetsk Oblast's Burdikai inflicting heavy losses, but Russians eventually outflank defenses, forcing Ukrainian withdrawal. The main Russian goal to the northwest of Avdiivka is to break through Ukrainian defensive lines and reach the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk, which serves as the main Ukrainian headquarters in the region. The first Ukrainian line of defense in the way of the Russian operation is located along the Derna River. Ever since the fall of Avdiivka, Russians have been continuously attempting to breach these Ukrainian defenses in multiple locations. The settlement of Burdikai is situated on the outermost edge of the Ukrainian river defenses, which is why it has seen the highest intensity of clashes in this direction. After Russian forces managed to cross the railway, they immediately launched numerous waves of attacks in the direction of Burdikai. The Ukrainian 47th Mechanized Brigade shared drone footage showcasing the Russian losses on the road between Stepov and Burdikai since the fall of Avdiivka. If Ukrainians continue to inflict such a high rate of losses on the Russian forces, the Russian detachments will quickly lose their combat capability, causing a premature culmination of the offensive effort and consolidation of the front line. U.S. Congress calls for urgent transfer of cluster bombs to Ukraine. The U.S. Congress said that the American military is currently sitting on a surplus of cluster bombs, igniting discussions among lawmakers about the need to allocate more of these munitions to Ukraine, according to Congressman Joe Wilson of the Republican Party during hearings in the U.S. House of Representatives. There's an expressed hope that cluster bombs will swiftly find their way into Ukrainian hands. We have surpluses that must be destroyed. I know a way to destroy them, and that is to send them to the people of Ukraine, said Wilson. During his appearance in the House of Representatives, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin commented on the provision of long-range ATA CMS missiles to Ukraine, affirming that the U.S. will provide Ukraine with as many opportunities as they can. Congressman Joe Wilson is a staunch supporter of Ukraine, having visited the country last year as part of a House delegation. During their visit, the delegation held talks with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. Cluster bombs, as explained, are ordnance or missiles that disperse smaller bomblets upon detonation, offering the advantage of affecting a larger area. However, the lethal weapons are highly controversial and are banned under an international treaty signed by 123 countries, but not the US, Russia and Ukraine. Despite the convention's adoption, the proportion of cluster munitions victims has increased significantly, especially in recent years due to escalated use of the bombs but also better documentation thereof. In 2020, for instance, half of all cluster munitions casualties were recorded in Syria where the bombs have been used since 2012, both from direct attacks and through previously unexploded residual components. According to Human Rights Watch, Russian troops have extensively used cluster munitions in Ukraine, killing many civilians and causing other serious civilian harm. Ukrainian forces had also used them causing numerous deaths and serious injuries to civilians, the international non-governmental organization said. Russia is increasing arms production, dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. Daily Express. The British daily newspaper Daily Express states that Russia is continuously increasing its arms production, thereby dealing a serious blow to Ukraine. The Russian army already controls almost a fifth of Ukrainian territory and continues to advance westward, especially in the southeast. As for the seriousness of Moscow's intentions not to rest on its laurels, the publication cites Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, who said on May the 1st at a meeting at the headquarters of the Joint Group of Forces in the Northern Military District Zone, to maintain the required pace of the offensive and ensure the build-up 
of the combat strength of troop groups for further actions, it is necessary to increase the volume and quality of weapons and military equipment supplied to the troops, primarily weapons. The British journalist clearly became afraid after these words from the head of the Russian military department for the fate of Ukraine. He recalled the successes of the Russian armed forces in the Donetsk direction and in the Kharkov region. The difficulties with holding and resisting the Russian offensive were confirmed the day before by the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Alexander Sirsky, who admitted the loss of several settlements to the west of the key stronghold in eastern Ukraine, the city of Avdiivka. True, the main reason for the failures was once again cited as the lack of proper military assistance to Kyiv from the West, and this despite the fact that the Russian military at the front does not experience any problems with supplies. Moreover, Russian defense companies produce so much ammunition that there is more than enough of it not only for the warring faction but also for replenishing warehouse stocks. In a word, for Kyiv, literally everything is lost if the Western allies do not take urgent measures to correct the situation. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg expressed concern about this. He acknowledged that it was the alliance's delays in providing promised military assistance that allowed Russia to gain an advantage on the battlefield. What then prevented the Ukrainian armed forces from achieving success during the counter-offensive last year when the troops had an abundance of everything remains beyond the brackets. Western partners promised to support Ukraine as long as needed, but the delay in military assistance affected Kyiv's ability to defend itself, a British journalist stated.